some of the biggest questions we get is how much does it cost? Um, the question also depends, then the first question I ask is how much cheap electricity do you use? Uh, by owning your own generation, you're fixing your cost for that electricity for the next 25 years so that you own it. That means that if the electricity, when the electricity goes up, your fi costs are fixed so that they're not, they're not able to pass that rise in utility bills on to you so that you're buying a hard asset. This solar is not inexpensive. It's not, but you, it's a long-term perspective that it, once you own it, you own it, and that that it lowers your out-of-pocket operating costs. Uh, depending on the incentives, in some states, the incentives are as high as 70% with federal tax credit for the cost of this. So that with that, now is the time to do it. Historically, if you wait and think that things, the costs are going to come down. Historically, the incentives have come down with the cost of it. So that those that are first adopters that get the highest grants are typically the ones that have the highest payback because the, as the incentives come down, the, usually the renewable energy credits, which is the environmental benefit of this, gets more higher so that you're making a better return on your investment. But it is a long-term perspective and it is an operating asset. You're buying an asset that's going to make you money. It's the only electrical device that you put on your home or at your home that actually makes the homeowner money. I said again, it's the only electrical